Hey everyone, be sure to drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can get it to 150 likes today. Subscribe for more content, all that stuff. Let's just get right into what we're talking about today. A little voiceover gameplay, kind of kicking it old school. Haven't done this in a while because we're actually talking about Wolfenstein 2 Youngbloods. So a trailer just dropped for this game that we have known has been in development for a long time, or at least the past year or so, but we've never really seen or heard much about it. It was supposedly coming to Nintendo Switch. We weren't 100% sure. We knew that the next Wolfenstein game was coming. We weren't sure if it was this one or some new Wolfenstein game that might be in development, but uh, now we know it is definitely this one. Uh, it releases on July 26. It's coming to all platforms, including Switch. Day and date release. No delay here. That's awesome news for Switch owners. Now, what you're seeing, obviously, is the trailer, how amazing it looks, these two sisters, all this stuff. Let's just go into the exact uh, description that they have listed for this trailer. It says, Welcome to the 1980s. BJ Blazkowicz is missing. His last known whereabouts are in Nazi-occupied Paris. The only ones who can find him are his twin daughters, Jess and Soph Blackowitz, and no Nazi scum are going to stand in their way. You liberate Paris from the Nazi threat as you search for your father in the first open-ended co-op adventure in the series, either with a friend or with an AI companion. Wolfenstein Youngblood releases on July 26, 2019 for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. There's also a deluxe edition of the game available, and it says, With Wolfenstein Youngblood Deluxe Edition, you'll receive the Buddy Pass, so you can invite a friend to join the Reich Stomping Fun, even if they don't own the game. The deluxe edition also includes the Cyborg Skin Pack, decking out the Blazkowicz sisters in titanium, allowing versions of their power suits, guns, combat knives, and hatchets. Uh, if you pre-order Wolfenstein Youngblood as well, you'll get the Legacy Pack and gear up with some of BJ's iconic outfits and weapons from the series, including New Colossus and the U.S. Army Power Suit Skins, a World War II skin set, and the Old Blood Pipe and Knife. Now, what's interesting, of course, is that Deluxe Edition is... Uh, that that's interesting to me. Not not so much the additional items and stuff. Like I, I I'm neither here nor there on pre-order items and deluxe edition extra digital content and items and costumes. But I do like that buddy pass concept where uh, that reminds me a lot of like uh, you guys remember on like what was it DS and 3DS like you could do like that like someone wouldn't have to have say Super Smash Bros Ultimate. They could just like you know download like from your DS or 3DS and play with you, uh, kind of that download play thing. That's what this kind of reminds me of with the Buddy Pass, although you're obviously paying extra for the privilege of having that Buddy Pass so people who don't own the game could play with you. I'm assuming this means play with you from another console because I'm sure there'll be local couch co-op type of gameplay, or maybe there won't be. I'm not 100% sure. The trailer doesn't really show any split-screen multiplayer going on, so uh, I'm not really 100% sure how that works, but it should be interesting. Uh, and obviously, I plan to co-op with somebody, at least in a live stream, at least once playing this game. Um, so yeah, this is a brand new game, guys. That, that's what's, what's nice about this, is in addition to Mortal Kombat 11 that we know comes out you know, next month for Nintendo Switch and all the other platforms, we now have another major AAA third-party game coming to Switch day and date in July. We, we we're finally entering you know, the, the third year of Switch here, and we're seeing day and date releases of AAA games. This is what we've been waiting three years for, or at least I have been personally, and I could not be more excited about the concept. And you know, as, as you're watching the trailer, there's just a lot going on. Uh, I don't have the audio playing because I don't really want YouTube getting mad at me. There's some uh, inappropriate language and stuff like that. And when I say inappropriate, it's not really inappropriate. Let's just say it's for mature audiences. Uh, pretty much like the game itself is. Uh, the game looks really good. It reminds me a lot of New Colossus. Obviously, the way it looks in this trailer is not exactly what it's going to look like on Switch. We obviously know there is going to be uh, downgrades, especially from the visual perspective. You're talking it's probably only going to be 30 FPS, whereas it's going to be 60 on something like, you know, the Xbox One X or PC. Uh, and, yeah, obviously the resolution is going to be lower. That, that I mean, what, if you played Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus on Switch, that's about the kind of visual fidelity you can probably expect here. Now, if you did play Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus on Switch, especially in handheld mode, it actually was not that bad. It's not as bad as people might make it out to be that seemed to be all about that resolution and frame rate. It's a very playable and very enjoyable experience on Switch.
it's it's a nice game. Wolfenstein the New Colossus is nice on Switch. So to see Youngblood coming day and day, it has me super, super excited. And I really want to know what you guys think about this news because I, I'm i just thrilled. I, the, the more of these games that get announced for Switch, the better in my opinion. And I hope that in year three, we're just hitting the beginning, right? Like Wolfenstein, we know Doom Eternal's coming. Granted, we had the prior Wolfenstein and Doom, so those aren't as shocking. But Mortal Kombat 11, we probably are going to get the next NBA 2K game. Uh, or is EA finally going to start giving more support we've heard rumors about frostbite coming to switch I'm, I'm really excited to see what the future of switch holds because i want more and more of these games but yeah i'm really excited about these games and i really want to know your opinions on it so let me know down in the comments below also be sure to enter our nintendo switch super smash Bros. ultimate giveaway through the gleam.io link down in the description uh is the last giveaway of its type we will be doing for quite some time uh so be sure to enter when we hit 50,000 subscribers we will be announcing the winner of that giveaway i want to thank all of you guys for tuning in i love your faces and be sure to tune in later today for prime news at 5 p.m catch you guys on the flip side